Okay, hello everyone. What's up? This is uh, Meech from Meech Tarantulas back here. It's been a while. Because I've been away. Wow, what a surprise. Yeah, I've been away for a little while. But now I'm back. And uh, let me adjust the camera. I'll put you on top of some tea enclosures. Hold on. I'll take out the Suricopelma and Gustinen. I could put my Kallenbergi. Put you guys on top of them. Maybe that'll give you a better angle of things. Yes, it's better. There we go. So you guys will be chilling with these for a bit. There we go. So, I'll be setting up a better setup for the Pyroflasma Shultai stick insects I have. So for that we'll first have to get them out of their current enclosure. Oh, it's the same enclosure I'm going to be using, but we'll first get the phasmids out. So I originally had eight of them, four males for females, but one male died. You don't really know why or how, but that's what happened with that one. So yeah, these are capable of spraying acid. I've never seen one do it before. So I don't know about that. But there we are. The first female and male in one go. So I'll be gathering them up in these little containers. One, two, three, four. There should be some more in there somewhere. So let's get you out. There we go. If you want a better look at them, here they are. The camera with focus. I don't know if it's focusing or not, but oh well. And I'll give you a look at him. Focus camera. There you go. The pure Phasma Shultai. Pretty neat little guys. Okay. Let's try and chuck them in there without the other ones getting everywhere. Come on, little dude. Won't be difficult now. There he goes, he's in. So it's three in, seven more to go. Let's grab that female up above here. Come on, girl. And these are the females. A lot bigger than the males. Seems to be the case with a lot of bugs. The females are always bigger than the males. It's four of them in this little tub. Let's put that aside. Put it right there so you can see them still. The focus is completely off now. There we go. And I'll start filling the second tub. I hope I'm not speaking too quietly. Because again, it's been a long time since I made a YouTube video. Since I've been away for so long. But let's get a move on. Come on, little Nell. Run, she said. Run. Come on, come on. There we go. I really like these guys because they're a lot more chill and handleable than most of your inverts. I was hoping I would be able to do this without putting the lid back on the... Oh, they hiss. I don't know if you heard that, but he made a little hiss sound. I didn't even know that. Well, that guy's eating. Oh, I feel sorry to disturb him now, or her. Come on, you girl. I need you to cooperate for a second. Come here. No, 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 no. Okay, yes. Let's get all my fun. I'll get you. No, 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 all the males out. 
Um, I don't know if you guys got a good view of this or not, but not. She's going at my arm. Now back in. She's. Oh, she fell. Are you okay? Are you okay, girl? I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I'm going topical in. Stay in. Stay in. They're both in. Yes, they're both in. Okay. Are your foot stuck? I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> they're falling all over the place. I'm so sorry, little guys. This will probably be a better angle for you guys, I'm sorry. I'll disturb you from your foot misses, I'm sorry. If you were the last one I should have. Come here, come here, yes. And I'll please just kindly go from there. Yes, thank you. There we go. That's all of them. So now, the plan is just cleaning this out while well, I currently have slappers. Oh yeah, there might be eggs in there. Alright, I gotta look for eggs first. Yeah, there's two eggs in here. So what I have is a simple crayer keeper with substrate and springtails, keeping it a bit moist. Uh, Sam from Bug Realms made a video recently explaining how you keep stick insects over. So that's how I'm doing it. Exactly his way. Well, he did it with vermiculite because he had better success hatching them. It's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it with a um, regular. Wait, oh, there's even eggs in the water here. That's not good. So let's take these twigs out, put them aside for now. There's just four eggs swimming in the water here, and even more on the bottom. Oh no! See the point of I hope these eggs can drown because the point of that plastic over it was to prevent something like this from happening. So I'm gonna pause the recording and. Pour the water out over the sink and try not to get all the eggs out, so be right back. Okay, so I've taken the branches out and collected all the eggs. This is all the eggs we have right now. You can see quite a few. I don't want to roll them all over, so I'll just show that. I think we're easily over 30. There still might be more eggs in the enclosure. But now I'm gonna simply pick out all the leaves, make sure there's no poo on them or no eggs in them and then gather them because <coughs> these will just be good to degrade in the soil I'll put in here I won't really make it bioactive but I'll just put a mix of cocoa fiber, peat and sphagnum moss and forest moss in there and then I'll leave all these dried leaves in there as well and then I'll just put some spring and isopods in there and then I hope I won't have to clean out the poop anymore like every so often and they'll kind of take care of that themselves at least that's the that's the goal we're going for here right I don't know if I made a video about it yet, but it's my reptile room, or like reptile animal room. Not really reptile, because the only reptile I have is my crested gecko char, and he's downstairs right now. I just made him a coconut hammock guy high thing. The, the leopard gecko on YouTube made a tutorial on how to how to make one, and I just kind of did that. That looks pretty awesome. No 
looks like we definitely have some more eggs in here. There's two more and there's another one in here. Play anymore. Yep, another one. Or should I drop that where I go? Disappeared. That's in there, I'll find it later. I'm holding my oh there it is. I'm holding my breath because I'm hanging over the glass and then it foams up and I can't see anymore what I'm doing. Okay, I don't believe there's any more eggs. So now I'll just clean all that off. And then I'll get back to y'all. So uh, I'll see you guys in a second when I clean all the poop out. Okay. You've somewhat cleaned out the tank. This is where it gets interesting, right? This is the decorating part. So the idea I came up with was I made these glasses with um, the tips of bottles in them. And the idea was so that I could make the branches look in a certain direction. And that way, give them more branches to climb on in a sense. See how that works out eventually. Maybe a bit too clutter actually. So now nah, I'll be fine. I'll put that one here in front and rotate in that way. So this kind of goes like that. Yeah. Now I'll move that one to the corner here. Now I'll move these in there because these were leftover branches so from the old setup can't make them go to waste can we? Because there's still perfectly healthy leaves on these that have yet to be eaten. short one we won't use so I'll just grab the leaves of it. If you didn't know if you just stick a lingustrum on this these plants are lingustrum I already this if you just stick this one into the soil near the plant where you took your lingustrums from these will grow again into new lingustrums so that's a really useful tip you can keep in mind. And now what we'll do I think is we'll fill this up with substrate. Let me get my substrate and uh, a tub to scoop substrate and I'll use my hand. 
put some of these things aside. I will not do a mess. Straight up. Here we are. Okay, now the plan is to fill this bad boy up with substrate. So that the glasses are kind of buried, if that makes sense. I won't put too, put too much substrate in. Just enough to kind of submerge the glasses a bit and keep them in place for sure. That corner as well. Not too much, not too little. Yeah, so it's not just an empty corner right there. Okay. It also makes it look a lot better than just nothing in there, you know. Up here. I'm probably putting in way too much already, but like I said, I kind of want the plans to be the, the, the glasses to be submerged a bit. That they're in there a bit more sturdy. And ideally, I'd put something in there for him. Um, well, on this side, I could probably just leave the eggs in there when the springtails are up. I don't know if the eyes are put so we eat them though. The springtails, most definitely, I could just leave it in there. Oh, I hit the camera. Okay, it's fine. And then the springtails will kind of make sure there's no mold growing and everything. The eyes of pulse would do well in here too. And all I hope is that these balls are, their mouths of it are small enough that they won't poop or lay eggs in them. Let's just grab a bit of substrate and put some back here like that. Okay, I think that'll be enough substrate. Ideally, I'd like to give him some bits of cord bark or something to climb on, but I don't know if that'll be much added value in there. I don't know. Let me see if I've got any really small pieces or something. I've got this small piece. Yeah, it's not really giving anything to the enclosure, so I'll not bother putting any cord parks in. Maybe I have any other decorations laying around. Could add some fake plants in, but I don't see the point of that much either. Let's see, hold on. Ok, 
I found this piece of cord bark, which might be nice to put in there, like that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that'll be it. Mm -hmm, looks fine. Now let's set the stick insect back in, shall we? Or add some sprinkles in first, All right? Let's do that first. And then I'll get some isopods at the expo this Sunday. Oh, my coach is going dry. Should buy some sprinkles to at the expo. There's a couple sprinkles in there now, not too many, but hopefully I'll just reproduce in there by the shells. And now let's get to the exciting bit, shall we? Because this has been quite a long video already. So let's put the plasmids back in. Hey there. And do that. This is a couple. You just go right back in here. There you go. I need to miss. You climb right back in. Looks a bit nicer than it was before, doesn't it? And I will post these leaves in there. Leaf layer. Oh, it is leaf layer, yeah. So now the other four. Oh, they're all on top of each other. Cool. Come on, girl. Get moving. You don't want to? Oh, you have to. On to the little cord block, she goes. Um, and I hope I'm giving you guys a good look at this. You can't actually see the camera of what I'm doing. Oh, it's raining on top of you. Run! Run that way! Quick! Move! Move over here! It's the wrong way, girl. Go that way. Just go on to the leaf. I had a good girl. I think there's plenty of leaves there to be honest, I don't think I need to add many more. And throw the big nice leaves in there. So I'll leave up the the small junky leaves that are really dried up and stuff. Okay, and that'll be it. That's the final look at everything. Very nice. So I'll uh, give you guys a proper look with flashlight because the lighting is not that great. And then I'll end the video. See ya. Here's another look with flashlight. You can see them all in there, enjoying a meal. 
It's a lot nicer of a setup of what it was before. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is a tarantula channel and these are stick insects. I know, I know, I know. But I'm working on tarantula things. If you look up there, those four terrariums. And all these will be going in there. So I'm working on it. That one needs to rehouse too because she keeps climbing my random female. Dumb girl, she's fell she's fallen quite a few times now. But she seems to not die, so that's good. Yeah. Nothing I can do to stop her. And those three are ready to um get my some opiuses in. So I'll have to do that too. So yeah, there's some videos coming. I fed them all yesterday, so I'll do a feeding video a bit later as well. And there's ants down there that need to be set up properly soon as well. So yeah, there's stuff coming up, so don't worry. Yes, got this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I'll see you again in the next video. And thank you for watching. Bye.